another Ask Meg where I answer your questions that you send in on Twitter using the hashtag AskMeg. This week I'll be answering a few questions and then making a mad dash for my Xbox One because Peggle 2 is out and I'm obsessed and I want to touch it all the time. So pretty much a work, sleep, Peggle. Not even remotely in that order. <laughs> Before I jump into the questions, a couple quick things. First of all, if you want a copy of Guild Wars, I will be contacting you today when this video is posted for your address, and then another company will be shipping the game to you. So hopefully it gets there in time for Christmas. You have a little Christmas cheer. Ignore your family. Play Guild Wars. Also, if you notice the sweet pillow behind me, I did a time lapse of me creating it, and the link is in the description down below. I'll be doing another time lapse pretty soon, so if you have a logo or an idea of what you'd like to see on the pillow, leave it in the comments down below. Good pillow designs are bold, don't have a lot of small details, and don't have a ton of different layers. So just keep that in mind while you're thinking of things to put on a pillow, and let me know what you'd like to see me build in the comments down below. And finally, in a bit of a counterintuitive kind of note, uh, yes, there's an article that used my picture in a stupid and derogatory way. No, I'm not going to link to the article anymore, and I'm just going to ask that you guys please also don't link to it, and that you don't engage with the people who wrote the article or who run the site on Twitter, because all they're doing is fishing for views, and I totally fell prey to it and tweeted about it. Uh, I didn't tweet out a link, but people still found it anyway, and that's my fault, because I was playing right into their hands, and I just don't want anybody else to continue to do that. I don't want to pay it any more mind, and I don't want to play any more into the game that they're trying to play, which is, I'm going to say something stupid and outrageous so people will look at me, and yeah, I'm just not into it. Alright, on to Ask Meg. At Jamie8695 says, which to learn first, hiragana or katakana? If you're learning Japanese and you're going to be learning to read and write as well, I learned hiragana first. I just felt like, I don't know, it was a little bit easier for me for some reason. Katakana came second and then obviously kanji. Um, you can learn them at the same time, but I would recommend picking one and sticking to it first so you know all of the characters in that particular alphabet before you move on. Hiragana for some reason was easier for me. Katakana's symbols seem to be a little bit more simplistic. Um, but I don't know, I guess I was just so used to seeing hiragana that um, it clicked for me a little easier. So I would recommend going hiragana, then katakana, then kanji. It kind of reminds me that I will be doing German days. Uh, I kind of fell off learning German, whoops. But I'm gonna keep doing it, so I will be doing a video. And I want to do something that's Japanese related. I don't know what I would do. Um, so whatever you guys want to see, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to do something where either I teach you guys Japanese or, or we learn together. Or I don't know, something. It'll be fun. Caesar Barraz says, what is your all-time favorite anime and why? For me, it will always be Sailor Moon. I just grew up watching the anime. I I'm such a sucker for a good love story and I don't know, I just, it will always have a place in my heart and maybe in my cosplay repertoire very soon. Hmm. It's just one of those rare series that has something for everyone and I love it so, so much and I will always love it. It will always be my number one. Cowboy Bebop makes a super good run for it, but it's just like, a, it's like 1A. Cowboy Bebop. Why did you shut off, you fucking piece of shit? Gonna replace you with a fucking PC. Abby Dunn Nurse says, being bisexual, how does it impact future relationships, i.e. the possibility of marriage? For me, I'm a monogamous person. I want to be in a relationship with one person and one person only, be it male or female. If I married a man or a woman, I don't think that there would be a problem for me because, again, like I would just want to be with that one person. So um, I guess I wouldn't feel like if I married a guy that I was missing out because I didn't have a girlfriend at the same time. Add a nerdy stoner says, if I have five apples, then give you two, and we split one, how many fish are left in the sailboat? What? At Mauser1991 says, if you could have a table talk with a couple fans instead of the source fed hosts, would you? Absolutely! One of my favorite parts of any convention or meetup or anything is getting to meet you guys and hear your stories and hear your experiences and, and you guys give like a fresh take on everything that I really love. So I would love to do a table talk with you guys. We should do uh, more like table talks where we go out and do it live and then we bring somebody up and they're like the fourth person. That would be awesome. Alright guys, that's it for this week's Ask Meg. I'm gonna go play Peggle 2 and you like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you feel so inclined. Tell someone about the channel if you'd like and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!